All right, day four. Uh, we completed the cave that's in the Awakening Wood. We completed Hole of Beast. Uh, let's go back to Awakening Wood. Since we have more Pikmin, or specifically more Purple Pikmin, we should be able to progress further uh, than where we were last time. Let's keep it moving, shall we? Awakening Wood. All right. So we got our red Pikmin and we have our purple Pikmin. Let's go ahead and pull out all the purples first. Since we have we don't have the max amount that we can pull out of those. And then we can pull out the rest of the red. The rest in red, I should say. Weird when we pulled out. Oh, that's right, because we have five that are left out here in the world somewhere. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Once again, we're going to swarm these bad boys. And after they have been swarmed, uh, we're going to break up into two groups. I'll have Olimar stop at you clowns. Stop at you clowns. I'll have Olimar take the Pikmin. Louis good. Ch Why is Louis all the way over there? I could have sworn he would have been with us. Whatever. We're here now. Hey! Hey, I need you guys to focus today. I need you guys to focus. Oh, oh, these bugs. These bugs are here. These bugs will actually tear up the plant that produces those berries. I remember them. So we need to actually defeat the bugs before they cause irreparable, irreparable damage. All right. So they're going to carry that back, and then we're going to... Actually, you guys go up there. Go up there, handle the berry thing. Handle all these small problems now so that later on we don't have any major issues to worry about. How about that? How about that? I need to, I need not so many... Okay, here's... here's Okay. This is my fault, isn't it? Here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to have all the reds do it. I'm going to have to assign you one by one since you guys can't figure it out yourselves. Okay. So, one of the barriers that we've seen last time was that this, this, wait, we broke it down. We broke the barrier down. I thought, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that we had taken it down already. So, now what we can do is we can just bring our Pikmin with us all the way out here. Uh, back to, back to Alamar. So, we have everybody all together at once. I need you guys to catch up. I understand you're trying, but I need you to try harder. All right, so we got them all. We got them all. Good. All right. So it seems as though there's other Pikmin somewhere. No, don't eat them. He didn't eat them, did he? No, nah, he didn't eat them. Good. We got one trying to carry it all by himself. Nope. Line up. Get in line. Get in line. I'll assign you. Go to work. Uh, one thing that I think is different in this game, it'll tell you what what uh, onion they're going to take it back to. And it's based on the color. Shoot. Hit the wrong damn button. It's based on the color that shows up once there's the appropriate amount of Pikmin carrying anything. So how that went red, that means they're going to the onion. The red onion, to be specific. Don't fall in the water, guys. Do not fall in the water. There's, oh, there's another cave here. We didn't go to this cave yet. Astounding. My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press start to contact me and press R on the radar screen. The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you, Louie, and the Pikmin to safety. Okay, so basically what it's trying to tell me is that in the event that I have some trouble down there, I will be able, I will be able to uh, escape. I won't bring any of the loot back with me. Anything that we find will stay in the cave, uh, but I'll be able to escape with all of my Pikmin as well as Olimar and Louie safe and sound. Oh, we're going to get ready to go down there. I probably should have had Louie 
back there. Matter of fact, Louis, grab them boys. Grab them boys. We're going. We can pick that up easily later. We're wasting time. We're wasting time. If there's anything, if there's anything that I value, it's time not being wasted. Let's head down. We're missing one. If you don't get your clown. Matter of fact, give me your hand. You give me your hand. Give me your hand. You coming with me. It's your non-listening self. Y'all ignore that purple stuff. <laughs> this is the white flower garden. Looks like there's two dangers here. One's fire, but what's the other one? Hmm. We'll have to find out some other time. We got 95 Pikmin going down with us. Let's ride. Right. So let's see. I'm gonna just ban. I'm gonna grab everyone and just ban them real quick. I'm gonna have uh, Louis do a little bit. Of, oh, never mind. Need you guys. Need you guys. They're gonna attack me, and and that's not good. I was gonna do a little bit of exploration of this underground area, but I suppose we'll be all right. Yeah. All right. Let's try it again, Louis. You're you're carrying the exploration team this time, Louis. All of them are sitting back home, safe and sound. All right, so there's dangers there. Oh, look at that. There's a thing. Hey, why are you following me? Why? Y'all prefer death. All right, fine. Grab all the Pikmin. Let's ride. Uh, Olimar, you stay back home real quick. You're just going to make sure everyone gets back safely. You're going to be the recovery, the recovery captain this time. Y'all get to work. Destroy. Destroy. All right. And then we I, I suppose this is a thing that needs carrying up. Huh? You can see our, our treasure radar is off the off the god darn charts right now. Is there anything over here? Nope. Nothing on this side. All right. Let's head back. We're going to head to the exit. We're going to make sure that there are 32 Pikmin with Olimar before we roll out. Get rid of that sucker. See, can we put more men on that? It looks like we left someone behind as well. This is... It's Nutrient Silo. Ah. <laughs> it's shaped like a silo and it's got nutrients inside of it. That's dope. All right, so Olimar has 32 Pikmin. Louis at 63, that adds up to be 95, and our treasure radar just went off. Looks like we're good to go. All right. All right, everybody come together and then separate. I'll be right back. Oh, it's a thing. It's right there. It's right there. All right. So I'll do a little bit of exploration. Oh, there's this guy. I don't know if you guys, if you def, if you saw the first playthrough, you remember this fellow. He breathes fire. He breathes fire. All right. So that means we've really got to worry mostly about the red Pikmin. We can keep the purple ones safe. The, re the red ones, uh... They are not affected by. Hey, hey, Louis, can you, uh, Olimar, can you move the team? Thank you. Uh, the red ones are not affected by fire and heat-based damage. Everyone else, though, gonna have a problem on our hands. All right, so what we can have is Olimar take his team over here to handle this fellow. Now they just don't take fire damage. They'll still take any other damage from this fire-breathing enemy. We got to be careful about that. We have a petrified heart and their Dastin. All right, so they can carry that fellow. And then this one also breathes fire. Like I said, uh, 
they still take any other kind of damage. So, like, them being thrown is actually really dangerous. It's really dangerous, especially a place like this where there's no wall. If he were closer to, uh, to I guess, this part where he threw them before, he actually could have thrown them over the side and they would have died. That would have counted as Pikmin dying. Like I said, we need to be very careful in the underground. It's a lot It's a lot of fun down here, but it's actually a lot more dangerous than the above. You can't be thrown outside of the world above. Underground, though? Oh, it is a long drop with a short stop. Okay, so Olimar has 32 Pikmin with him. Uh, that means Louis needs to have 63 before we ride out. We're close. We got eight there. That should be it. This is the Drought Ender. All right, so Louis has 63 Pikmin. Olimar has 32. That adds up, adds up Excuse me, to be 95, and our treasure radar just went offline. We're good to go. Uh, one of the things I want to show you before we go any deeper, uh, if we go to the pause screen and we hit L. Wait, did I hit the wrong one? I think I might hit the wrong one. Let me see. I think I have to do it above ground, either above ground or, or at the end of any given day. I'll do it. I'll, I'll remember this time. Let's go deeper. I've actually tried showing it in the last few days, but I, I kept forgetting. I'll remember next time. All right. Once again, everyone come together and then separate. Uh, Olimar, you lead this time. You you are going to be the exploration captain this time. Let's see. Uh-oh. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hothouse for foliage? What an interesting development. The Pikmin look as if they long to be tossed into the flower. I get it. I get it, game. Okay, let's grab us some Pikmin. Uh, actually, we're just gonna have we're just gonna have Louis bring everything because it seems like there's no danger here. Uh, so we'll be fine. We'll have we'll have the entire team, the entire camp, run ahead. All right. So let's see. We have the most red Pikmin, and we actually have needed a specific amount of purple Pikmin uh, to complete certain tasks, such as breaking down those barriers that were in the way. So I feel like since we, we can easily get more red Pikmin, let's go ahead and use red Pikmin, specifically the flowers. Oh, I'm sorry, the leaves. And throw them into the white flower. All right, so we drop red seeds. I believe it's painstakingly obvious what's about to happen. And that's okay. And that's okay. Hey, fam, I need you to get over here. That it? That it? And then five more. Like I said, it should be super duper obvious. But our radar keeps going off. Over here. Is there treasure over here? It seems as though there's treasure over here. Normally when it's going off that quickly, that means we're right beside it. But I don't know where it is. Ah, well. Mm. Incredible. A white Pikmin. It is tiny, but it looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are an unseemingly red. <laughs> this type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. 
Our data record on this type is a blank page since a certain captain never documented them. You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of future generations. All right. So we have red Pikmin. We have purple Pikmin. Now we have uh, white Pikmin. I'm going to grab Louis so that we can very quickly pull all the white Pikmin out of the ground. That's kind of why I stopped like after the first one got pulled. Because I realized I didn't have my, my tag team of, of Pikmin pullers. All right. So let me show you something cool with the white Pikmin. I, I, I remember. I remember them 100%. I think the white Pikmin are probably my favorite. I think the white Pikmin are my favorite ones. We got 15 of them. Let's grab. Hey, little buddy. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So the white Pikmin, just like all the Pikmin, have their own special traits about them. Like I said before, there's treasure here that, I, that the radar clearly knows, but I don't. Amazing. The white Pikmin have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps those beady red eyes of theirs allow them to sense objects buried in the dirt. So that's one of their special abilities. Uh, that's their non-combat ability. I, I, I believe every Pikmin has a combat ability and a non-combat ability. Uh, their non-combat is that they can see things buried below the ground. Oh, I believe... Hang on, get off of that. I believe once it's so far out of the ground, I can use the rest of the Pikmin to help carry or help dig it out. So let's see. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's at the very end. Yeah, once it's, once it's so far out, everyone else can help in. Help out, I should say. Disperse. Louis, you're going to stick back while the rest of us move forward. I'm actually going to bring only the white Pikmin forward with us. We're going to have the, uh, these Pikmin carry this back. All right, so Louis is going to bring the white Pikmin with us here. We're going to go forward just a little bit. Lu Olimar, you grab the rest of them clowns. You grab the rest of them clowns. Let's see, Can you put more men on that? Sure can. Sure can. All right, and we're going to press forward with just the white Pikmin. Oh, that's it. Okay. Get up. Get up. It's okay that you fell, but you got to get up. Uh, another, I guess this would be their combat ability. They're, they're faster. Okay. So before I said that the purple Pikmin are slower than the red Pikmin. Well, the white Pikmin are faster than the red Pikmin. The white Pikmin are the fastest of all. This item is Super Stick Textile. That's dope. Uh, the white Pikmin are the fastest of all. That's partially due to their size. They're, they're really small, so they can move a lot faster. Uh, the only reason they're dispersed between the red Pikmin now is because the red Pikmin have flowers. They have flowers, so they get like a speed boost. Uh, while the white pigment only have leaves. Uh, in exchange for them being faster, they're actually much weaker. They are much, much weaker than than uh, red pigment on. That's their trade off. That's that's one of their trade offs. They they do have a combat ability, and I believe on the next floor we'll get into it. We got all our pigment. We got ninety five. We got the treasure radar gone. Wow, them, them stragglers just caught up. Let's roll. All right, so we got three groups of Pikmin with us. If you take a look at, hey, hey, I need everyone to come together because it's very important that you do not die at this point. It is very important that you do not die at this point. In fact, that is why the game said, uh, if if you feel like you're in trouble, you can pause the game and, and leave. You can leave here because we're actually at the point where if so many Pikmin die, so many Pikmin of a certain color die, we could fail. 
So if you take a look at these things here, this thing emitting purple, purple smoke, I guess, purple gas. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Purple gas is poison. Uh, only certain Pikmin can can mess with these. You want to take a guess of which which color Pikmin can handle? The white Pikmin can handle poison with no problem. Any other Pikmin will take damage. I don't want to demonstrate it because it's actually really risky. It's really risky, and, and it's it's kind of hard to recover them. Same way if they would catch on fire. If any Pikmin other than the red Pikmin would catch on fire, it, it's actually really dangerous. It's really hard to, to recover them. Let's see. There was one more. Let's go right here. Come on. All right. So all the poison Pikmin have done their work so far. Olimar, you're going to handle the the exploration team this time. You guys are going to carry stuff out of here. Uh, Louie, we're going to explore just a little bit more. Make sure we get rid of all the poison before we bounce. Now, of course, Olimar and Louie can't take poison damage either. They're, they, their spacesuits aren't that powerful. All right. This is a container of sea bounty. What is that? It's it's it looks like it's in German. I'm not entirely sure what this would be. Yeah, I can't even look at the ingredients and tell what it is. I might have to Google this. What is this? <laughs> it's probably just sardines or something like that. Container of sea bounty. Okay, so it looks like we have found, we have gotten rid of all the poison, but our radar is still going off, and it's probably not going off because of, is it? I thought this might have been. Oh, it's underground. Okay, I thought this might have been an enemy that was waiting for us to come about. Guess not. All right, everybody, get to work. There we go. Disperse. If you feel like carrying it, then gosh darn it, carry it. And once again, the the white Pikmin are weaker. So if they're working together to carry something, it'll be pretty hard. It'll be pretty hard for them to carry it alone. They're not going to be pretty fast with it either. This is a toxic toadstool. I think they named it that because it looks like what the poison mushroom in Super Mario would look like if it were... Uh, if it were a real world connotation as opposed to like the standard mushroom. All right, we got 95 Pikmin with us. We found all the treasure. The treasure radar has deactivated. Let's roll. Let's roll. All right, this is the final floor. That very likely means that there is a boss here. I kind of want to experiment. I want to go alone and see. Yeah, there's a battlefield, so that means there's definitely a boss. Unless it's just... Oh, no, it's a boss. It's a boss. We're familiar with this fellow. We saw him at the end of the... Or not the end. Towards, towards like, the midsection of our Pikmin 1 playthrough. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm kind of cheating. I'm having Louie do all the groundwork before we actually get into this boss fight. Because this boss, I won't say it's hard. He's not hard, but he definitely will take out a lot of our Pikmin. So, again, that nectar there is going to make our Pikmin go from the leaf stage to the flower stage immediately. Louie, uh, uh, Alamar, can you bring the, the troops, if you would? Now, again, our white Pikmin are the fastest. Our purple Pikmin are the slowest. So I kind of want to make sure we got everybody here all at once. That thing is going to keep going underground, and it might even attack us over here as we get the nectar. Come on. Come on. I'm trying. Well, I was trying to help you, purple Pikmin. You're just too slow. All right. Let's go to work. Come on. Where you at? There we go. Okay, so he does move. Okay, so what we need to focus on is attacking the head. We need to focus on attacking the head. Otherwise, there we go. Oh, he is eating our Pikmin. Damn. All right, I was gonna say he'll 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 be able to focus in a, in attack our Pikmin as they run. Come over here. Get away from him. No, get away from him. Unless we're attacking. 
Come on, stun him. You must save your friends. Ooh, let's go. Come on. Get up. Get up. Here we go. Did it. Did it. What did we do last time? I think we took his beak back. Oh, we took his whole head this time. Well done, Captain Olimar. You defeated that freakish half bird, half certain hybrid. Oh no, don't tell me. That treasure was ingested by that beast, wasn't it? All right, I, I, I guess it might've been. Okay, so we lost four Pikmin. I can't tell offhand which colors we lost. I think it might've just been red. I think I only saw red ghosts, red Pikmin ghosts. All right, so we got 56 Pikmin with us here. To get to 91, we need to have what, 35? We need to have 35. Yep, it looks like what we got. All right, this is the five-man knapsack. <laughs> this is the five-man knapsack. This material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Seam test conclusive. Cross stitching successful. The knapsack is complete. When you have an unoccupied time interval, press and hold X to take a nap. That's actually really one of the really cool things to do. And I'll, actually, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you right here. This is really dope. I just gotta figure out which button is X. <laughs> okay, so if I press X to take a nap, if I press and hold, oops, wrong button. If I press and hold X to take a nap, what the Pikmin will do is carry me all the way back to the ship. At which point I'll wake up. If I'm not mistaken, I think it heals me. I think it'll heal me a little bit. I think it'll heal me a little bit. We got 56 picking with Alamar, and we got 35 with Louie. That's 91. We got all the treasure on this floor. Let's not only get up out of here, but let's get out the entire cave. All right. We lost four Pikmin in the cave. We lost four Pikmin. I tried my hardest to leave with everybody, but we lost four Pikmin. We'll be better. We'll do better. All right, and then we still have practically, what, three-fourths of the day left above ground. All right. Yeah, we still got a lot of time left. Okay, uh, so what can we do? Oh, I guess we get more red Pikmin now, huh? And there's still five Pikmin somewhere. Okay, now we have we have a new ability while we're above. Hey fam, hey fam, I need y'all to deal with these clowns. I don't know how they're back so quickly. I mean, it's not like time has passed. Um. Now that we have a new ability, more or less, we have Pikmin that can go in new areas. We need to focus on using that ability to progress. Okay, we didn't lose any. We didn't lose any of our white Pikmin. That's good. We didn't lose any of the new Pikmin. All right, y'all carry those back. And what I'm going to have, I'm going to have both teams running together. Both Team Olimar and Team Louie are going to run together. But I'm going to keep Team Louie separate because, remember, they can access an area that some certain Pikmin won't be able to get into. They can access the poison area. So let's let's have a uh, let's have Olimar follow tightly behind. Our radar is going off once again. Louis. Alright, so there's something nearby. Okay. So this was the cave that we just went in. I don't think it will actually allow us back in. Oh it will. It will. Okay. I thought for the longest it wouldn't. Okay, so we have poison Pikmin. 
Oops. We have yeah, white Pikmin that can deal with this poison area or this poison around this barrier. All right. So they're going to work at it slowly but surely. Louis, you're going to hang out with them here. Alamar, we're going to explore a little bit more while we at, while uh, they're working. Come on. Now, we went over this way already, right? If I'm not mistaken, this was, yes, this was towards the, the hole of beasts. I'm not sure that we can explore this area to the left. No, it's got that poison barrier as well. So we'll have, we'll have Team Louie deal with that next. Uh, let's see, what can we do while we wait? I guess we can go back and explore the other area, huh? We can explore. There, there's part over here that we haven't seen yet. I doubt I can make this throw. He looks really high up. Oh, we can make it. Oh, look at that. We can make it. All right, Pikmin that have all taken damage during that last fight. This is your time. I guess we could also go ahead and get some more of that spray. As I clowned around and pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Team Louie, how you doing? They're really going to take forever on that. They're really going to take forever. All right. Y'all y'all are taking forever too. Both teams are moving slowly right now. Hey, everyone that's left, come with me. We're going to explore the land just a bit. Just a bit. Let's see. Is there anything over here? It don't look like there's anything. There's water here, and like I said, our Pikmin can't handle water. Pikmin can't handle water, so we're gonna, we're not gonna be able to go this way. We're not gonna be able to go this way. At least not until that bridge. I, I probably should have said that when I was over there. That that those rolled up logs. That's actually a bridge. Mm, butterflies. Cool. That that those rolled up logs over there is actually a bridge, and we can have our Pikmin work to m activate that bridge, m get that bridge active. Uh, but not in current time. Not yet. I wonder if there's a way to tell whether this plant is actually a plant. Or if it's an enemy in disguise. Team Louie, how you doing? Alright, they got it down one third of the way. That's good. That's good. We got a lot of time. We got a lot of time. We'll be alright. We can get our numbers up. We can get our numbers up in the meantime, in between time. Is there any, there's something up here. Or, or we're near a treasure. It might be un buried underground, which means we won't be able to get it just yet. We'll need Team Louie to come over here. Anytime the radar goes off wildly and we can't see the treasure, it's either in an enemy or it's underground. If y'all don't carry that thing. If y'all don't carry that thing so we can populate your species. All right, this is the last call. This is the last call for y'all with the leaves to become flowers. Are they not finding a nectar? They're pretty. Normally, they're good at finding nectar. There we go. There we go. Because I was about to say before, they wouldn't leave this alone. I couldn't get them to leave it alone. Team Louie, progress being made? Yeah, they're almost done. Actually, let's head back. Let's head back because we'll be able to work on that with them. Or not the not the gate, not the barrier, but on what's on the other side of the barrier. It looks like it looks like they're almost done, and I I definitely don't want fifteen of them doing whatever's on the other side alone. They they're very likely not gonna be able to handle it. Sounds like it's done. Yep, we just finished. And now they're taking down the the things that were emitting the gas so that everybody can pass through. Good job, Team Louie. Proud of you all on this day. Move out my way, please. <laughs> okay, so this is one of, the cool, one of the cool things about this game. It actually has you do a little bit of puzzle solving. So I need to get up there. I need to get up there, and it's easy for my Pikmin to get up there. I can throw them up there. But there's no way for me to get up there myself. If I, it's, it might be a little hard to notice. It might be a little bit hard to notice here. Uh, but on the left side, come on, come on, Perfect Man. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Come on. There we go. Might be a little bit hard to notice, but this here is actually like a scale. 
Uh, Team Louie. The only reason I haven't had Team Louie leave yet is because I know I need them. I'll have Team Louie do this part. Uh, this is a scale. I can't just climb. I have to get up there. I have to be moved up there. So what I need to do is throw Pikmin on this side. Pikmin are apparently heavier than Louie and Olimar, even the lightest, even the white Pikmin. So now I have Team Olimar up here, but Team Louie won't be able to get up here so easily, and that's okay. I don't, I don't think I need them up here. There's one piece of treasure right here. Let's grab that. You guys can take that back as soon as we get enough men. As soon as we get enough men. How many do we need? 15? There we go. Get to work. Oh, oh, look at this. It's another it's another type of berry. How how lovely. All right, Team Louie, you guys are going to go break down. Actually, I don't think we have enough time for you to go break down another door. It took you guys, what, half a day to do that one with just 15 men? We can get started, but you're likely not going to finish. Especially because I don't know where the hell I am right now. Is it this way? I think it's this way. Yeah, they're going to break down this barrier here. They're going to get to work on it at least. Go, go. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? They'll get to work on it. Astonishing! This purple berry contains an ultra bitter essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me another specimen. You got it, fam. This is a chance totem. That's dope. That's a dope name for it. I don't know if you guys know this, but any legitimate die will have. I, I like bringing this up anytime I see like a die. Any legitimate die will have any number on any side and the number on its opposite side add up to equal the highest plus the lowest value. So, for example, this is a six sided chance totem. <laughs> that means the highest number is six and the lowest is one. So those add up to equal seven. Every number, every number on any side and then the number on the opposite side will add up to equal seven. So this is two. On the opposite side, we have five. Two plus five is uh, seven. And then here we have four. On the opposite side, we have three. Four plus three is seven. That leaves one here and then six on the bottom side of this chance total. Fun fact. Fun fact. All right, so those plants grew back super quickly. Would you guys be so kind as to carry more? I think this might be all that we do today. We've done a lot, though. This is actually a lot. Thank you, gents. Thank you, gents. Uh, let's see. I was going to say I'm going to leave them here. I'm actually not. That sounds dangerous to their lives. I'm going to go grab those Pikmin that are just hanging out over there as if that's what I want them to do. As if they aren't part of the team. They're just hanging out. Come on. We got a whole 11 worth of Pikmin carrying that bad boy. Team Louie, how's it going? Oh, they're actually making progress. They actually might break that down. They might break that down in in, in today. Captain Olimar, I have completed my research on the purple berries you discovered. Behold the ultra bitter spray. It's untested, but I believe it will be highly effective. Approach enemies and press up on the control pad to spray them. When necessary, I can reduce one ball of spray from 10 berries. Press start, pause to contact me and confirm your berry count. Look at L on the radar screen. You got it, fam. All right, so we got we got two kinds of berry sprays, which is good, which is good. I don't think we'll be able to get up there to get more berries or more bitter berries. 
We can get more sweet. We can't actually handle this for sure. Actually, to get up there, we needed uh, we needed to manipulate. We need to we need to maneuver. Yeah, ab we absolutely cannot get up there and have all of our Pikmin leave with us today. Good job, guys. Proud of you. You guys, you guys worked hard today. You all worked hard today. They, they're gonna finish this, aren't they? I think they're gonna finish this. They're gonna finish this, but we absolutely will not be able to carry that out of here in time. I can see another thing there, and that's okay. It's okay. We we can still come back here. We can still come back to this world. Y'all want to get some more, some more of the sweet berries? We can get our, our numbers up on the on the, the sprays. The sprays are actually really, really effective. If you want to turn battle in your favor, because like this is this is a complete step up in management from the last game. Last game you really only had to manage how many Pikmin you had with you, what opt what activities you were doing, and how much time you had. Now with, with more Pikmin, two captains, potentially two different teams. Oh, it looks like they broke it down. They broke it all down. Good work, guys. Proud of you. Oh, I see how to tell whether or not that plant is real or it's a, it's an enemy. It is very clear to me now. <laughs> it's very clear to me now. Okay. Uh, with, with all the different teams that you can build, how many different types of Pikmin you have to be worried about and all that, like, I, it's, it's, actually, it's actually hell. It is actually hell. Uh, so the sprays are actually really effective in you being able to manage your team, keep everybody alive, and complete goals. We got a lot of stuff we can do tomorrow. There's an area that we can now, there's a different area that we can now explore. Oh, uh, we can build that bridge. There's a treasure that was hidden in the ground over there. Oh, shoot. They won't, they won't be able to, oh, I want them to get the nectar. All right, we're just going to wrap it up today. We're just going to call it on today. This was a good day. This was a really good day. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed today. You guys worked hard. I'm proud of every single one of you. All right. So look at all the monies we made today. We made a hundred above ground, and then seven hundred while we were under. That's dope. It's a lot of pokos. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that the only Pikmin we lost were red, because we stabilized in purple. We didn't make any purple. We got fifteen white Pikmin, so that would mean that uh, all the Pikmin that we lost were red. Uh, Z button. Yeah. Yeah, we lost four today in battle. They don't even tell me what colors. <laughs> I guess it doesn't want me to worry about that, and that's fair. That's entirely fair. It's not something that we need to worry about, truly. My dearest dear, how are you? Your boss gave me this space email account and told me all about your business trip. Just remember, you have a family to think about. Okay, so I said I was going to remember uh, to show you something cool with the items. And I remember, it's just I also forgot that I can only do it at the beginning of the day. So it, tomorrow we're going to open up with, uh, let's take a look at that cool thing. It's a really cool thing. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day five. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're going we're gonna to make even more progress. See you then.